stay focused. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Holy Spirit, help me. Feed us with this word. Touch our heart. Fill the atmosphere. Touch every man and woman in this place. May we be blessed with this word. May our spirit be energized unto greater works in the mighty name of Jesus. We shut the mouth of every evil that has come to misrepresent the word, attack the word, steal the word, destroy the word. We crush it in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, take absolute control. Bag this word with fire, power, signs and wonders. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Stay focused. Staying focused is the act of bringing all your strength, attention, or forces to bear on one thing until you conquer it. Hallelujah. Staying focused or concentrating is the act of bringing all your forces to bear on one thing before you conquer it. Samson died in his prime. You know Samson, right? Samson in the Bible, a strong man. He died in his prime when he was not meant to die. When he wasn't, it wasn't his time to die, but he died. King Solomon, the king who built a temple for God, died in the shrine. Hallelujah. After building a temple for God, he died in a shrine. Why? Because they couldn't stay focused on their assignments. Amen? If you don't stay focused, you die. That is why a lot of Christians are dying. They have died spiritually. I always tell you that life is not a competition. You are not in competition with anyone. You are on an assignment. Hallelujah. Enough of Christians struggling and crying and wailing as if Christianity is a poverty school. Once you enter, you are, you've entered a, poverty, a place of poverty that you must be poor. Stay focused. Jesus came here on the earth. And because Jesus was focused, he was able to accomplish his assignment even within a short space of time. Well, have you wondered why? Why 33? Couldn't he have stayed longer and do more? Imagine Jesus has stayed for 70 years. 33 and look at the impact. If he has stayed for 70 years. He was very focused. Even though there was distraction from the scribes, from the Pharisees, from the elders and the leaders of the church in those days, from his own disciples, from his own family members. Distraction here and there to cause him to deviate. But he stayed focused. He was bold enough to say, in, when you read John chapter 9, verse number 4, John 9, 4. Let's see what is there. Le mikiyakata katundeli igiyakapa. John 9, 4. I must work the works of him who sent me. Uh, these are the words of Jesus Christ. He is telling the people that I must do the work of him who sent me. While it is day. While it is day. The night is coming. The night is coming. When no one can work. When no one can work. Verse 5. As long as I am in the world. As long as I am in the world. I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. Jesus knew that he was an assignment. He knew that he was not a mistake. He, Jesus Christ, he was not a mistake. He was not here to compete with anyone. He was here to do something for God. Somebody has sent him here. So he focused on his assignment. He didn't look at what, at the point his mother told him that they, they came to tell him, your mother and your brothers are looking for you. And he said, who is my mother? Who is my brother? There are those around me. Focus on assignment. No distraction. Today, a 
a lot of people lack concentration in life. Many people lack concentration, focused in life. And it is sad to know that many of these people are Christians. Bible believing, tongue speaking. The fact that you go to church is no guarantee that you will make it in life. Put it at the back of your mind. You're going to church. You're coming up and down. Eh, 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 eh. In the house of God. Does not guarantee that you make it in life. You are on an assignment. And the better and earlier you stay focused on the assignment. The better for you. Hallelujah. Have I still got some time? I've got time. Hey. Apostle Paul said in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. 2 Timothy 4, 7. He said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. My race. Uh -huh. I have kept the faith. I have kept the faith. How do you think Paul was able to keep the faith? In the midst of everything that was being thrown at him, he stayed focused. He was able to say that I have fought. A good. There were a lot of people who don't finish well. They are easily distracted. Amen. Amen. Great achievers in life. Anyone you know who has done anything great in their life are those who have stayed focused on one thing for a long time. A long time. Uh, the, the, the key word is what? A long time. Focused on one thing. Not that they are here today, tomorrow they are there. A lot of Christians are not even focused on God. Today they are there with God. Tomorrow they want something else. They are not focused on one church. Not focused on one pastor. They, hey, they are there. Hey, they are there. Hey, they are there. The queen is in there. Should we clap for the queen? <laughs> we are not doing well as Christians because we are not focused in life. Not focused on their marriage. Not focused on their job. Not focused on their talent, their calling. Not focused on their children. Lack of focus. When you don't have focus, forget about praying. Listen, sometimes, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you that some of your prayers, they hit the ceiling and they bounce back to you. Hallelujah. There are principles in life. One of that principle to do well is that stay focused. You have an assignment. There will always be naysayers. There will always be people who will distract you. Not and listen. One of the uh, 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 things that come to uh, uh, those who stay focused is that they are criticized. People call you antisocial. People call you, you don't know, and he's some way, and she's some way. Those who are telling you that you are some way, and they are some, you are this, you are that, you are, they don't have anything to focus at. That is why they have time to criticize you. If they are focused on something about themselves, they wouldn't see that you are antisocial. They wouldn't see that you are not the way they want you to be. Everybody can sway you anywhere they want at any time. You are even sleeping. Somebody can, they'll call you and then you just get up and go. You are not focused in life. You know that this time is my sleeping time that I need to use it to do A, B, and C. They'll call you for fun, fun, fun. To go and sit, talk, merry, on useless things. And you just get up and follow. Stay focused. Those who stay focused do great things. Hallelujah. Amen. When you focus on one thing and you work at it with everything within you, you will succeed. Amen. Concentrate on what God has called you to do. If God has given you a wife, concentrate on her. 
if God has given you a husband, concentrate on him. If God has given you children, stay focused on them. Don't begin to compare yourself. The reason why many Christians lack focus is that they like comparison. A lot of Christians are not grateful for what they have. A lot of Christians, they are not grateful for what they are. As they have this, they are looking at somebody's own, someone's own uh, thing. Complaining. Comparison. Compla- it is as a result of complaint that the Israelites they, they went through challenges and battles in their uh, 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 lifetime. First, when you read First Samuel chapter eight, Israel, it's First Samuel eight four. Please read it for me. What, what does the Bible say there? First Samuel eight four. Mm-hmm. Then all the elders of Israel gathered together. Listen, oh, the elders, those who are meant to speak sense into the people who are down there, the elders, the leaders. And they gathered together and look at what they are, they are saying. And came to Samuel at Ramah. Mm-hmm. And they came to, to Samuel, the prophet Samuel. And uh-huh. said to him, uh-huh. look, you are old and your sons do not walk in your ways. Mm-hmm. Now make us a king to judge us mm-hmm. like all the nations. Make us a king to judge us like all the nations. God has decided that he, the Lord, is going to be your king. Then they said they were comparing themselves to the other nations. We also want to have a king. Give us a king. Give us a king. They were not focused on God. And God told someone, allow them, give them a king. They have not just rejected you, someone. They have rejected me, God. They have rejected me, God. Stay focused. You see, today, the church, the body of Christ, because we lack focus, we have deviated. And our lack of focus is even the reason why the church is growing weaker and weaker. We have deviated from our main calling. Matthew chapter 28 verse 18. What did God tell the church? What did Jesus Christ tell the church? Matthew 28, 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spoke to them saying, Mm -hmm. All authority has been given to me in heaven. All authority has been given to me in heaven. And on earth. And on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. Baptizing them in the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe all things. It's the calling of the church. But today, the, the world, external pressure and internal pressure has brought it that if the church does not build schools, then the church is not a good church. If the church does not uh, uh, help the community, then the church is so pressure. The church couldn't stay focused on our assignment. We lack focus. So we are going just down the drain, down the drain. When you focus on what you have been called to do, you gain strength. Yeah. Because it was something that God, in, God was intentional about you. God created you well. The way you are good with the mass, it was intentional that God placed in you. The way you are good with speaking, it is intentional. The way you are good with organizing things is intentional. That is your strength. Everything that you feed grows. Everything that you starve dies. Begin to starve your fears and feed your strength. Concentrate on it. Build it. Don't, don't jump at this and leave it and jump at that. And leave it and jump at that. That's for Jack of all trade, master of none. You have done about 100 businesses in your life. You, 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 you don't have any business. Hey, try and error. Try and error. Then when we tell you, you tell us that. What did you tell us? <laughs> oh, tell us. What would they tell us? If I, if I program my business. Or you tell us that. Ebefa. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody is laughing at all of you because they know where the Ebefa is coming from. Hmm. Ebefa. Fadi Ebefa, it will take. 
<laughs> Stay what? Focused. You being a Christian, sister, does not guarantee that everything will work for you. There will be up and downs. There will be low, very, very low moments. These are things that the church, we, we, you, we don't hear it in the churches. Every day, people, when people come to churches, it's like they are on ecstasy. Do you know what ecstasy is? Do you know ecstasy? Sorry. High level of excitement. There are some drugs that you are put on that puts you that keeps you there. So every day you are laughing. Every day you are laughing. <laughs> Even if they slap you, <laughs> your mother is dead. <laughs> your father is dead. <laughs> you, you never cry. It's like when people enter the church, from the pulpit, we put people on ecstasy. So when they go and face realities of life, then they begin to doubt God. He is a God of good times and a God of bad times. Stay focused on what he has given to you. Even as you are staying focused, there will be ups and downs, low moments, high moments. Concentrate on it. At the law, he said, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 3. Though the vision may tarry, wait for it. It shall surely come to pass. You will be great. You will be big, but only if you stay focused. Stay focused on God. Stay focused on what God has called you to do. Stay focused as for being a Christian. Not that today, when you are with Christians, you are a Christian. When you leave church and we are with, we are, we are, we are with un, no non-believers, you also you try to behave like them to be accepted. Uh, me, uh, me, 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 you know, me, now I have my own doubt to the Bible, you know. Me, there are some parts of the Bible that me too, I have, yeah, but you know, we are all have issues with the Bible. Then you are trying to conform to them because if they see that you are a rigid Christian, they will not call you again. They will not mingle with you again. They will begin to call you names and you don't want to be called names. So you try to, eh, we are, me, 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 I, me, ah. Oh, I go to church, but that, that, that prayer that they have been shouting, blah, 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 I don't pray like that. You are trying to look gentle and look kind of nice in the eyes of your friends outside. You are not focused in life. You lack, you lack concentration. Amen. Amen. When God gives you a vision, when God gives you, put anything in your spirit, I am not there. He is not there. She is not there. The, nobody was there. God put it in you. And whatever it takes for it, that thing to become great, God gave it to you. So be ready that we who were not there, we will come and come and tell you that what you are doing is stupidity. Concentrate on it. Yeah. We didn't hear. You were the one who, was, who heard. Focused on it. Amen. Amen. Somebody will sell pure water. Sachet water. And they will become millionaires. You will sell gold and still be poor. Somebody is doing gold business. They are making money. You are selling watches. Because they are, Charlie, this one is good. Though. Then you stop selling the watches. Then you go into, try, try to go into the gold business. Because somebody told you that. The fact that some people are carrying it well does not mean that it's not heavy. Yeah. Did you hear me? Yeah. The fact that he is carrying it well, she is carrying it well, does not mean that it is not heavy. There are certain things when they put it on your neck, on your head, your neck will break. But when they put it on another person's neck, they will be solid. You, you, if you want to try, go to Africa and go to the market. Do you know that the, the people, the Kayaye, the headquarters, they can carry a house, a house. <laughs> You, when they put this microphone on your head, you say it's heavy. <laughs> Amen? Amen? 
everyone and the grace that they carry. By now, you know some of your strength flow in it. Today, it might not look like it's bringing anything. Concentrate there. Focus on it. Don't move to the left. Don't move to the right. Don't be, be um, you say, uh, uh, First Corinthians 15, 58, dearly beloved, be you unmovable and what? Unshakable. Always abounding in the Lord, knowing that your labor in the Lord will never ever be in vain. Amen. Stay focused. You want to achieve anything great in your life. You want to become great after prayer, after fasting, after giving in the house of God, remain focused on the assignment. What have you been called to do? What is your vision? What is your dream? Why are you dropping your dream and going to follow that friend's dream? Why are you dropping your vision and choosing that friend's vision because it sounds nice in your ear? Amen? Amen. Don't copy blindly. Hallelujah. Amen. You are unique. God was intentional about you. A lot, that is, a lot of people have copied and tried to be like others. And some, it has ended some of them in their grave, some of them in prison, some of them poor for life. For life. You are doing well. If nobody has ever told you, whatever you are doing, I came to tell you here that you are doing well. Amen. You are doing well. Amen. And you will succeed in it. Amen. Any good thing that you are doing, I prophesy over it. Jesus. If you are listening to me, watching me online, any good thing that you are doing in this life, that seems like it is not working. Today it is going up. Tomorrow it is coming down. You are not seeing the head. You are not seeing the tail. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Jesus. If there be a God, may God show you mercy. Amen. And may God cause that thing to grow in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You will succeed in it. Stay focused. Believe in God. Do something for God. Ask yourself, what have, what have you done for God? Today, yeah, you'll be surprised to know that many Christians, many Christians have not done anything for God. They have not done anything for the advancement of the kingdom of God to win souls, to spread the name, the message of Jesus Christ, in, they have not done anything. Sometimes even unbelievers or non-believers do more for God than we Christians because we are not focused. What is the vision of the church? What is the vision of you being a Christian? For God, focus on it. Man of God, you, you start, you are good at prayer. You heard another pastor who was singing and his members were loving the song. They said, hey, this pastor, they can sing. Your voice is not good. Then you decide that you to be given now. Oh, now, the, Lord, the Holy Spirit has spoken to me. The Holy Spirit has spoken to me. Holy Spirit said, before I come and preach, I should sing, sing, sing. Then you will lift up the song. Once you lift up the song, you see that the morale of everybody in the place is dead. You are not stopping. You are still singing. <laughs> not everyone will love you. Not everyone will accept your dream. Not everyone will accept you. No, no, not ninety uh, percent of the people will not buy into your dream and your vision. Amen. Amen. Don't waste time on naysayers. Don't waste time on people who will draw you back. If you need to cut people out of your life, cut them out of your life. Amen. Amen. Can't you see that your life is delaying because of the people who are around you? Anytime you bring an idea, they throw it, they throw it down. Anytime you bring dream killers, vision snipers, 
they will destroy their dream. If you are here, you are a man. Your wife brings an idea, you throw it down. Always the idea, you throw it down, change. You are a woman. Anytime your husband brings an idea, you throw it down. Because you know, this idea that my husband is bringing up, it will mean that man will be reduced for my makeup and my dressing. Because their vision means that money must go into it. We have to invest some money. So I will not get certain money. So I will use everything within my womanly power to prove to him that what he is saying is nonsense. The man to you, you know that this thing that your wife is saying, so you can't use money for unnecessary things. If you follow your wife, you will have to sp spend enough money and save money, invest and do certain things. So you will do everything. You are, I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. You are the man, go and bend the sea. Amen. We are looking for men to fight in Ukraine. You are in UK saying I'm the man. <laughs> we are looking for soldiers to go and fight in Ukraine. Are, yeah, I'm the man, I'm the man. You are more than the woman. Amen. Amen. Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. Let me finish with it. These twelve Jesus sent out and commanded them, saying, These twelve Jesus sent out and commanded them. Jesus Christ, listen, when Je Bella, when Jesus came to the world, eh, he didn't waste time on unnecessary things. He was focused. Jesus didn't decide that eh, I must win the Gentiles, I must win Pharisees, I must win, I must win. I'm he was focused on his assignment because he knew that there was no time. You don't have time. Media, you don't have time. Ruby, there is no time. Speedy, there is no time. There is no time. You think you have more, more time? You think you have more time? I said last Friday, it, I had a news. A man went from U.S. to Ghana. I'm going, oh, he, he's, with, he, he, he's married in the U.S. with his two wife and two kids. Leaves U.S. I'm going to Ghana. To go and do one or two business and come back. Car accident. Boom. Dead in Ghana. He wasn't sick. No problem. Strong, energetic. There were a lot of. He, when he, the plan was that when he comes back, his wife and his children will go for, I think, their grandfather's birthday or something, something. So every, there were plans. The same way you have plans, but you don't, you don't have time. Yeah. Do, do you hear me? Stay focused. Jesus, uh -huh. do not go into the way of the Gentiles. Jesus Christ said, do not go. In. I am sending you. Don't go into the way of the Gentiles. And do not enter a city of the Samaritans. And do not enter the city of the Samaritans. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Direct assignment. Focus. Go right to the... You would think, does, does it mean that Jesus didn't want the Gentiles to be saved? He knew that there is a time that they will be saved. But their time has not yet come. He, he was preparing the apostle Paul unto the Gentiles. So he said to his people, go straight to the lost ship of Israel. Focus. It is not everywhere that you need to go to. It is not everything that you need to get involved in. It is not every business that you need to do. It is not every uh, a conversation that you need to get yourself, yourself in. It is, not, it is not everybody that must become your friend. Stay focused on what you are building. Build your home. One day, if you are not focused, when the, you really you, you lose time. And when the time, those who are focused, you you are moving with somebody who is focusing on their own. They will not tell you to focus on your own. And every day you go there, oh homie, homie, hey brother man, brother man, then hey boza, boza. Oh, me, oh, me, hey. When they have any, oh, go and escort me. I'm going to do some business. Then you, to, you use your time to go and escort a business that you are not going to get anything from. Because you are, you are, you are uh, giving the person company. Then you are chatting with them. No interest to you. You don't get any interest. Hey, 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 then you go. Then you come. Hey, 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 hey. Then, oh, oh, this is my friend there. He's my real home. He's real. Oh, you need pass Oh, you need pass <laughs> oh, he's a very good man. He's a very good woman. 
He's always there for you, you know. This guy, he's always there. He's always there. That, that is how they've named you. So when they call you, they've told you your head is big. Because they've told you that you're always there. When they call you, you always also be there. You are not planning anything for your life. Not focused on anything in your life. I'm going to buy a car. I'll go and escort them. Then go and escort. You go and escort them to buy a car. And you sit in the front. And you, you'll, be, you'll be rather be, hey, 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 hey. Oh, uh, ah, when the person, oh, child, come and take me and let's go to church. Eh? About you, I was the one who went to go escort you. Then you are, you are happy that your friend has bought a car and you are sat in the front and you are coming to church. When you come, Father, bless me. In the name of Jesus, I will not delay in life. I will not lose in life. When you finish, then the person, oh, go and say, I'm going to, after church. Maybe you go to work even in the night. You need to go and sleep and plan your life for Oh, I'm going to London because there is free car. You jump in the front. And you go to London with the person. When you go to work, then you'll be sleeping. Then you, it, you lose your... After prayer, then you will lose your job. Then when you come to the church, you come and tell the uh, pastor, this prayer, yes, it doesn't work. It works. It is you who don't work. Yeah. Yeah. You are the person who don't work. You have brought your life to a standstill. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord have mercy on us. Amen. Receive the grace and the ability to stay focused on any good thing that you are doing in this life. Amen. May the Lord strengthen you. Amen. May the Lord touch your mind. Amen. The, the grace to concentrate. Amen. As you concentrate, may anything that is not working begin to work. Amen. May you block your ears to all naysayers. Amen. Distractors of life. Amen. People who come to deviate your plan and your vision. Amen. May God remove them out of your way. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will lose certain friends. Don't bother about it. Mm. You will lose certain relationships. Don't bother about it. Mm. Concentrate on what God has called you and given you to do. If it is school that you are going to, focus on it, you will finish. It is a business. Focus on it. It will become a worldwide business. If it is marriage, focus on it. Your marriage will be sweet. If it is children, focus on them. They will one day be good to you in your old age. Hallelujah. Amen. If it is uh, um, so winning, focus on it. Working for God. Doing something in the house of God. Focus on it. No Ebefa. No Ebefa. No. No, a befa cry. Amen. A befa does not fall without you staying focused. It will not fall like that. Amen. Amen. Afa. Afa. When you stay focused, Afa, you will not say a befa. You Amen. see that Afa. Amen. A <laughs> befa society, president of a befa society. <laughs> Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May God show you mercy. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen.